Hello, my viewers. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm uh, gonna talk about the sound level meter from Parkside. It's the PDEME 130A1. It's a sound level meter, and I have been using it a lot in my videos, but I never made a video about it. So let me show you how this works. I'll open it up. And I have been using it a lot to measure the sound levels of my uh, power tools. And it's pretty handy. You see a lot of buttons, but it's not that difficult. So here we have it. There are four buttons. And First, we're going to turn it on with this one. It will pop up and measure immediately. If you want to turn it off, you use the same button and then you hold it. It will turn off. We have the hold button here. So if you have measured a sound level and you think, yeah, this is this is the, the distance and this is the sound level I want to, this is the point I want to measure and I want to uh, write it down or something. You push the hold button and it will hold the uh, reference uh, from that point. Push it again and it starts measuring again. The same hold button, you see, press two seconds, then the display light will pop up. There is a fast measure measurement and a slow measurement. The fast measurement, you see now the numbers change fast and now the numbers change slowly here is the minimum and the maximum measurement so let's say now it's changing all the time so it's an active uh, measure mode if i want to measure the highest uh, sound level i push it once and then it will measure the highest sound level. So if I make a lot of noise now, it will stay on 73.3 and it only will uh, go higher if the sound level uh, rises. And the same is for a minimum. Then you have to push this button and hold it. You will see minimum in the top and then it will measure the lowest sound level. So it's time to make some noise now. I will put it here so you can see the sound level on the display. And when I turn it off, you see it's dropping. Let's say I want to do a maximum test. I push this once, then you see max in the display. I do it again. And that's the maximum measurement. Turn it off. Do it with a small screwdriver. Still on max, turn it off. Put it on minimum. Now it's on minimum. Oh, don't drop it. Now it's on minimum. And you see it will drop if there is no sound. On the active mode, I'll try the DeWalt. Put it on maximum.
and it automatically will stay in the display the maximum sound level. As I always show, it comes with a manual in a multiple language and your language will be there, a language you will understand. The measuring range is 30 dBA to 130 dBA and it comes with a three year warranty. So if you have seen my previous videos about power tools, you can see, you could see that I have been using this a lot to measure the differences between the sound levels of the Parkside products, the Parkside power tools. I like it because I can show you the difference between the sound levels. I hope you like this video. Please give this video a like, give me a comment and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in next video. Thanks for watching.